Andriette, and this is Point of Power. During this Thanksgiving season, I'm back with you again, reminding you to constantly and consistently express gratitude. Are you expressing gratitude for everything? At Heart and Soul Center of Light, we affirm, thank you for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. I have personally found this transformative to my life experience, moving me from a place of seeing, experiencing a situation, a circumstance from a place of complaint to a place of gratitude. It, it requires that I shift my perspective in a very real way to, to discern what's the possible blessing in this. And I don't have to get it right. I just have to provide the or operate from the awareness that there's a blessing here for me, that there's something in here for which I am grateful. I may not understand it today or this year or the year after. It may take me a decade for me to get to the point where I can articulate the blessing and what I had to be grateful for in that. It doesn't matter. There's not a one of us who has not had a situation or circumstance that felt devastating and disparaging in the moment. And then years later, we're giving thanks. We're, we're in a place of anchored in gratitude about that. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't move there. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't make that decision, that I didn't go or didn't stay or whatever it is we can see very clearly. Learn from that. In Acts of Faith, Young of Anzant's um, 25th anniversary edition, she quotes Theodore Roosevelt for November 24th, where he says, your attitude about who you are and what you have is a very little thing that makes a big difference. So let's just get down to basics. Can you hear my voice right now? Oh, let's be grateful. Can you see my image right now? Oh, let's be grateful. Ah, you obviously have some device on which you are watching it or you have access. Someone was kind enough to share it with you or you have access and a relationship with heart and soul. Let's be grateful. We would be dizzy if we counted all of our blessings. Do we have fingers? Do we have more blessings than we have fingers? Do we have fingers? At least one on which we can count. Can you, I'm sure you're getting the point, but your point of power is to discern that you are already blessed. Are you standing? Can you stand? Are you sitting? Can you sit? Are you breathing? We have so much for which to be grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. That, my love, is a powerful point of